before I even introduce myself, we're going to lose sight of this Rhino. Unfortunately, there are quite a few cars here. So I think let's have a little look at the Rhino first. And then once we have to reposition, oh, then I shall introduce myself to all of you. But isn't this fantastic? Isn't this incredible? There we go. You can see someone's head and screen. <laughs> Very crowded, yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Taylor, and on camera with me today is. We're gonna go with Cutthroat Craig. I think, we're gonna, I think we're gonna make that stick, aka Batman. Sometimes people call him Craig, but not really. No, this is live, this is interactive, this is happening right now from the Mara Triangle in Kenya. And we're very happy to have you. So if you have any questions for us, remember hashtag. Did I say that already? Hashtag Safari Live? I think I may have said that already, but it doesn't matter. And you can chat to us on the YouTube chat. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to get a view of these rhinos because we can't really go off-road here. It's a high high usage area, so we've got to stick to the tracks. Um, and there's many cars in front of us, and I don't know. Let me see, Craig. Let me see if I can do a little bit of positioning. But we'll try. How's that gap through these two cars? I'll go a little bit more. There we go. Look how incredible that is. Now, the two of them here, one was most certainly a male. I didn't really get to ha have another proper look at the other one, um, but it could be either way. It could be, oh, there we go. We can have a look on the left. This will give us a chance to zoom in, D double check. Well, yes, that looks very much like a female. So it is a male and a female that have obviously joined up. Perhaps this lass is coming into estrus and the male is perhaps starting up in the courtship process, which would be very cool to see. I've only seen rhinos mating once before, and white rhinos, not even black rhinos. So wouldn't that be quite exciting? And it's the first time I've seen them out in the open like this. This is really, really amazing. Oh my goodness, you won't believe our luck. A gap has opened up. Wow. So, we're just gonna be a little bit patient. One more vehicle is moving. And then, we're just gonna let them reverse and then we're gonna jump back onto the track. Actually, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna steal a sneaky spot. And we're gonna stay on the track too. Okay, so I'm just gonna park like this. So they keep they're walking away from us, but that's okay. And we're gonna keep our distance. We're actually not gonna follow them for too long. And the reason for this is because our plan is to head to the far west where rumblings from, I don't know how Brent gets all his intel, but Brent has whispered to me that apparently there are some wildebeest that have crossed back from the Mara National Reserve back into the Triangle. So we're gonna go see if we can find them. There are lots of lions down in that area, so it could be quite exciting. Will tonight be the, the day that I get to see my first takedown from start to finish in the Mara, because can you believe it? I have not seen a kill yet. Not that it's necessarily my favorite thing, but um, it's still quite interesting to learn about the various hunting techniques that the different lions use in the different areas. So that'll be quite nice. But I thought it would be a great way to start our day off with one of the endangered species of Africa. And you can see they're living quite well here. They're nice and healthy. There's lots of vegetation for them to browse on. And you can see that these rhinos have actually, well, a part of research. They've got notches in their ears. So they were obviously darted and blood samples were taken and I'm sure they have their own ID somewhere, hidden safe. Very cool though. Wow, and I really hope you're taking as many screenshots as you can because it's not often that we get to see them out in the open for such a, a long time either. Absolutely beautiful. Now I could spend all day with these animals. That was one of my favorite things to do down in the Eastern Cape, was sit and watch them. Huge horse fan, are you wondering how long are they pregnant for? You're just wondering, you'd like to wonder as much as you like. Well, the gestation period for a black rhino um, is just a month less than the white rhino, so it's 15 months. It's quite a long time, white rhino is 16 months. Um, <clears throat> but really, it's, it's so close. I mean, what's a month? They've been wallowing as well. They look like they've obviously sat in a bit of mud during the day, and now they're up and feeding. Isn't this great?
Now, James, you're wondering how long is the courtship process for a black rhino? Mm, I'm trying to think. In the reserve that I worked with, we actually only had males. We didn't have any females. Well, we did, and unfortunately, she died of natural causes, not from poaching or anything. So I wasn't able to witness uh, the courtship of a black rhino. Um, I, I would imagine it would be only a short couple of days, maybe three to five days or so, and maybe quite similar to the white rhino. But I'll have to have a little look. I did see quite a few black rhinos in the Savi Sand in the south, but they were so skittish it was always at a distance and or charging through a lion sighting, <laughs> which I suppose is pretty good. How's that scenery? All those tall trees, the grass is lovely and green, fallen trees. It really is stunning out here. Well, and the fact that you've also got two black walk, uh, white, blah, 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 two, how's that? Two black white rhinos. <laughs> two black white rhinos walking through your screen. Look at those pointy lips. Perfect for nibbling off the leaves. I wonder what shrub they're eating over here. Has anyone ever seen the rhinos when they eat euphorbias? It's something that I used to watch them do quite a bit. It's one of their favorite foods, in fact. They eat quite a large amount of the euphorbia, and that is present in this area too. <laughs> now, Lara, you said that they are beautiful and they are prehistoric looking. They are. Rhinos haven't really changed much in their design for millions of years. So they really are one of the prehistoric creatures out here. Almost armor plated. But we sadly are going to have to move off from here. We've got a long way to go still to get to the southwestern corner of the triangle in hope to find some wildebeest, which will be nice because I've seen a total of 12 wildebeest today and they were up on the escarpment. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, she's got a bit of a, he's got a bit of a split. Yeah, we might be able to recognize him. Right, I'm going to see you all a little bit later. Hopefully once I've arrived at my destination, I'm going to send you all the way to South Africa now to dear Tristan. And I wonder if there are any clouds looming in the sky.